Mr. Popsit here. The most common question I get asked is what sunblock should I use? I've had 15 years to evaluate that question and here's the answer. Isden. I-S-D-I-N. Link below in description, 10% off for the first purchase. Why is it the best? Medical grade, 100% mineral ultralight emulsion melts into your skin. Their scientists micronize zinc oxide so you literally can't see it on your skin. 50 SPF made for daily use on the face, decolletage, and hands. Coenzyme Q10 antioxidants and DNA repair zones that reduce inflammation and actually repair UV light damage. Available in tinted, non-tinted, and a powder. My wife loves the tinted so much she stopped using foundation. Only available online or in a doctor's office and this link only works in the United States. Literally the best sunblock I've ever put on my skin. Thanks for popping by. Okay guys, Mr. Popsid here. This was our patient um, that had the trifecta, I think we called it. She had vellus hair cysts, she had steatocystomas, and she has some blackheads as well. Um, you can see she did have some inflammatory ones and that can happen sometimes. She came in, they were a little bit inflamed. I was looking at her original picture. Sometimes when we start squeezing, we get a big inflammatory response that can cause post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation that can stay a while. We don't want to have each one of them looking like that. Some of the other ones we did are just a light brown. That's what we would expect. This should fade completely, but it can take a year. So we're just going to open up a couple of these dark ones here and see the ones that are really raised, if we can get those out for us. So I shouldn't have to worry about those anymore and give it more of a flat appearance. So thanks to her for sharing. We just want to touch up today, basically. Just a small bore needle just to kind of open the pore into the pocket there for her. Not too painful? You're okay with that? Just a little? It's okay. Okay. These ones, the small ones usually pop right out here. Let me know. Not too bad? Good. Oh, yeah, it's, yeah. That's... it's not too bad. Once we open that pore, usually getting the shot kind of hurts more than just a little poke there. And that's quite a bit. That one flattened out completely, very little trauma. That's kind of what we're looking for. The more injections, squeezing, cutting, that's where we can start to get some hyperpigment. That one's a little more dry, you can see. It's kind of popping out. Good. They get oily. Have like a mm -hmm. little hair right there. It's dry. Oh, it looks like dry. Yeah, pretty dry. These get oily pretty quick, so we change the sticks a little more quickly there. It's good. Just a little pocket. That's a steatocystoma. That one's more of a blackhead. You can kind of see that discoloration. And we'll see this where there's usually steatocystomas too. It's almost like ink. And that's just kind of some melanin that's in there and breaking down of hairs sometimes. Be a little tender, sorry, it's like a blackhead there. That's good. So I'm trying to get the ones where we don't have to squeeze too hard for you. So that way it's not too painful. But I can give you a little shot too if you need it, so don't worry. Ready to go there. Very good. A little squeeze, sorry, that's coming out. Good. You can see the hair is rolled up in there and the hair even coming out of that hole there. Good. So when we pull, those look pretty flat. It's looking good. And you had a couple up here we're going to get right here. Oh, yeah. Oh. Thanks. Feel it pop? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not too painful, right? On no, that, that one, one was Good. Yeah. yeah, it came out, yeah. Yeah. That came out nice. And because of the hyperpigment, I'm not digging in there real deep trying to get the sacs out either because that's what can cause hyperpigment. So we're just kind of going as easy as we can here. That one was kind of more of a wet one. It's just breaking down kind of. You can see. Why is that one like more? They just, some are real dry and then some will be pretty moist. 
This one's pretty dry. I might give you just a little injection there because there's a good size one there. There's a lot in there. And I want to get that out for you, but I don't want it to hurt, so. Tiny bit right surface there. Not too bad. That should now come out once we get that a little numb. You can have a little sack in there sometimes. I don't want to push too hard on it because I don't want to cause inflammation on it. But I can feel there's a good bit there it's starting to come out. We got it. It was just dry. Oh, I see. Yeah. Helps with the numbing? Yeah. Good. A tender area right there so I have to put that in if it's having trouble coming out that was a good size uh -huh. one good long hair in there rolled up too and that flattens that out for you very good let me just see right there that was the one you were feeling a little yeah that one yeah is that, that was the one that had a little bit of black in it. It was just yeah. kind of the hair breaking down. I could give you a little numbing there and see. We can get a little bit of that yeah, out. What about this one? And that one too. Yeah, yeah. That one. let's do that one. <laughs> see it squirt right out of the pocket. <laughs> that happens. Ooh, right by me. Yeah. <laughs> It is a little bit bigger, one millimeter more opening there, and that'll get it in there for us. Very good. Seeing if there's any others in that area, it's looking pretty good. That's from some of the injections there, and there's one down there Yeah, too. I see, what yeah. about? Yeah, we can get those too. Little poke. And there's one right beside it. These are little steatos, it looks like. It's a tiny bit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Good to get that out, right? Very nice. This one, I think, is just kind of like some dried up. It's just kind of like almost like cis contents in there. We're not going to get a ton out of there. It's like little hairs rolled up can kind of see them peeking out there a lot of times you got to dig in there to get all those little hairs and that could cause some inflammation so as long as it's flat um you know a little bit of that's blood in there too that's causing some of the discolor but i don't think we're going to be able to get that whole okay, cluster of hairs it looks out like black so i thought yeah. it was black. It's not no it's just a little bit of blood in there from uh, the poke but got that out get these right here little gel filled ones got it uh, it's a little tender at the bottom there, sorry. Same with that, just a little pressure starting to come out. That I'm gonna give you a little numbing for that one. Good. You can see the difference when it, yeah. when it's got, you know, it's kind of, oh, yeah, yeah, there's the hair right there. You can see they always stick out, a little pinch. Sometimes it's just kind of dry and pasty and we need a, like a half a millimeter bigger opening. That makes sense. So it can come yeah, out. Yeah, to open it. Yeah. Just a little tiny bit right there. And that'll come out now. Can break that up a little. Oh, yeah, it's coming. Yeah. There it is. what that does you have the lido in there you can see but it really flattens it out and kind of takes away what is causing the skin to raise up it's looking pretty good did you want to get you had a couple down here you can see the pore opening right there right there and then one right here sorry no that stings just a little those are kind of fluid filled, yeah. So oh, I yeah. thought they come right out with the hair. Oh yeah. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> oh yeah. Just a 
little squeeze. Not much in the last one, but you can see a hair in each one. Let me get a couple sticks just to get the bottom of that, and that'll be good. You can see the hair is kind of hanging out. Why do they get it? the hairs? It's just part of how they, they form. Or how they grow. Vellus hair cysts and just kind of vellus hairs are involved in clogging of the pores with stabocystomas and the vellus hair cysts. <clears throat> You'll see it in both a lot of times. So it's like a part of how it grows or how it mm -hmm. forms? How it, how it forms, yeah. A little bit more there. There it is. At the bottom. See the hair on that one coming out. Stretch that and get under them, you'll get them right out. They're not too painful, hopefully. Yeah, those are too bad. And usually you can just grab and those hairs come right out. You can kind of see they're all clumped up. And then when you pull, you see you don't see, I didn't put any Lido in those, so you see it's not like raised up. That's what we're going for. Get that last hair. You can pull it and the bumps are gone. So you can see all these little bumps like that. Yeah. I can I can try and get those too if you can tolerate that okay. Just do a couple more. Or you want to take a little yeah, break? Yeah, we can do them. Um, yeah, like, like these this, ones. This one's kind of like that yeah. one. For sure. Let me make sure we got. That was the one that had a little blood in it. It's making it look dark. A little bit of the hairs. What about that one? Yeah. It's just blood. Yeah, just blood. There's a little bit at the base though. Sometimes you come from different angles, you'll get just a little bit of that kind of butter left. That's good, nice and flat. We'll put some band-aids on that one. And then yeah, we can hit just these couple little ones there and then yep. give that a break. <laughs> that's good? Yeah, that's, that's fine. Perfect. Yeah, this one was a little bigger here. That one too, just like the ones we just did over there. Good. A little bit there. Here. A little poke, sorry. The abdomen is very soft, so getting behind it can be tough with the cotton tip applicators, but you see that hair in there. Oh, yeah. There's a little hair in that one too, most likely. I haven't had quite a bit. And that one's got a lot in there. I might do a little numbing just on that one for you. Oh, that's right there, yeah. Because that one has kind of a small hole there. I just need to make a little bit bigger opening and we'll get the hair out of there too. I could feel there's a little more in there. Get behind it and there oh, we yeah. go. Quite a bit. And the hair at the oh, bottom, hair. yeah. <laughs> That's usually at the bottom, and you can just kind of grab those and they come right out. You can see a little base, right. and it's kind of rolled up in there a lot of times. That's good to get those out. And the oh. sack, good. So the sack, that look like a little sack, or maybe, no, that was just rolled up hair. <laughs> it looked like a sack, because there's so many. That's good. Pull that here. There was a little bit in that one. Okay, we didn't get much out. There's hairs down in there, but if I go digging, we could cause some inflammation. I don't want to do that. Just what we can get out minimally. You can see the hairs down there too, but those are pretty small from a distance, so you don't really see much on them. That's looking pretty good. There's little tiny cuts. That's all we're trying to leave here and get those bumps to go down. Yeah. Now, a lot of people ask, see, I can push out almost like a little clot or a little bit of blood. That's what will cause some discoloration and your body will break that down. So it's just a little tiny bit of blood where that cyst was and that you'll reabsorb that. So don't worry too much about that in the short term. Yeah. But I don't see any that are really inflamed like your ones were before, which is good. And when we pull, yeah. you do have a cluster all through here. If you want to wait and see how these heal, yeah. make sure you don't hyperpigment. And we could do another round in a couple weeks and get yeah, this we could little do those cluster. Yeah, a couple weeks. Yeah, 
We'll let these heal first, make sure all these little ones do fine, and then we'll get these. Yeah, that one, probably yeah, 10 like or 12 there. Whole. Yeah, so that's good. Well, thanks for sharing. Um, these were, you know, they're not huge, but these little cuts trying to make that is, is our whole goal here. So we're not really digging deep. We're not causing too much inflammation so you don't get the hyperpigmentation. Yeah. So thanks for popping by, and that's it. <laughs>